A good variation on the horse is the zebra or a donkey. But essentially, they are exactly the same as a horse, except we get them to look down more. So, for each of these figures, we leave approximately six inches uninflated. In essence, the zebra and the donkey are both the same as the horse, except for one small feature. So we start off as normal, we make a two inch nose. We make two one and a half inch bubbles for the ears and we'll lock twist those together. We leave a four inch neck and then we'll twist six bubbles of one inch. Make sure you put plenty of twist on these bubbles or they will come undone. We then take the first and last of that sequence a lock twist together. And then exactly as the same in the horse. We're going to take this pair of bubbles and we're going to roll them over there. So we take those, push them up, over, just like on a horse that's the mane of the zebra or donkey. I then put a one inch bubble in here and pinch twist that. What that does is it makes the figure look down. In this case, looking at the amount of balloon that we have left, I'm going to take about a quarter, four inches, twist, and make another balloon the same size. I'm going to lock twist those together as the front leg. I then look at what's left, two inch body, and a pair of smaller legs. That is my zebra, or my donkey. If it's a donkey, it just looks down. If it's a zebra, what you can do is then you can add on some details with your favorite brand of felt pen. And there you have a zebra.